everyone, it's Sarah from Nova Scotia. Welcome back to Colorful Creations. I'm gonna do a Dutch pour for you today. This is a 20 by 24 inch canvas. It's a paint over. I had something on it before that I got sick of and I just painted it over with a coat of gesso. Um, I would have rather had white gesso. It comes in black and white. I only had black left. Um, it's just it's just because the edges, I'm doing a Dutch pour with the ne um, most of my negative space is gonna be white. And it just makes it a little harder to cover all the edges because the paint gets kind of thin when it runs off. So what I like to do is just paint the edge in white, just a plain acrylic white, nothing added. It just helps to cover that. The, everything on top will be thick enough to cover the black, but the side is, is the problem. So, so that'll take care of it. And this, this is just me <laughs> practicing my signature. I usually um, sign them on the back, but I, I don't know, I think I might want to do a couple on the front and I'm just kind of playing around and I, I don't like that. I'm gonna get something different to do it. Um, so I am. Uh, I have my paints mixed on the thin side for this. Um, if you can see, if you drizzle that, it kind of lays on top, but then it kind of sinks in right away. So I'm gonna first. I'm gonna start off. I'm just gonna cover the whole thing in white. And we'll spread that out. you want your paint to be pretty thin for a Dutch pour because you want it to be able to blow out the hair dryer really good. So I just have a regular hair dryer. It has been used and abused, covered in paint. It's okay. And I got this attachment. I really like this. It kind of gives me more control over the paint. And I got this on Amazon. It was a set of three. This is the bigger one. And it just fits over the end of the hair dryer. Nothing fancy. I think it was $13 for the set. So I'm just gonna blow this out. I'm just gonna make sure my edges are covered really well. And now I'm just using a blowtorch, or it's a little blowtorch I got on Amazon, a couple dollars, and this I'm gonna to use to get the bubbles out. Just a little piece of hair there. Where's that? extra along the side just so that when I blow this out that'll run down over the edge and cover it really well because it's the edges are always the hardest part okay I'm gonna show you my colors right so here's my colors I'm using this is a neon pink by deco art it's mixed how I normally mix just like I said on the thinner side just drizzle it in there you can kind of see it land on top and then it just disappears this is actually Artist Loft Cobalt Blue, and I mixed a little white with it to lighten it up. This is Deco Art 24 Karat Gold. This is mixed, this is the only one mixed differently, actually. This is mixed three parts Liquitex Pour Medium to one part paint and a little water. Just to, they all have the same consistency so they can blow very easily with the hair dryer. Okay, so my plan is to keep this very simple today. Um, just very minimal, a lot of white negative space. I think I'm going to... Just adding a little white all around it just to help it glide a lot easier.
It's very simple. I think some of the gold's gonna come up. All right, I think I'm gonna leave it just like that. So I'm just gonna put my cups a little on the inside of the frame so the paint can run off freely. And I'm gonna run my finger under the edge just to get rid of some of that extra paint because I don't want that to turn into bumps. And also, it can pull some of the paint off the canvas. And I can see a lot more, a lot more of this gold popping up, which is really, really pretty. I'm gonna bring you in for a closer look. All right. Very minimal. All the colors are showing, which is gorgeous. See this gold? This gold's popping up here. Some pretty cells. I'll show you from the other side. Some of these lights, the glare is pretty bad. All right, so we will see how this dries in a couple days and we'll have a look at it then. All right, so here we are dry. It turned out pretty good. I did have to touch up a spot. Um, it's kind of weird. So the way I mixed the gold, it, um, it kind of spread out a little bit, which I wasn't really happy with. So I think I do need to add a little bit of glue to this mixture just to keep it together. So you see here where it's kind of like this spread it. It's not too bad. Um, there was one spot that was um, over to the side. And I just painted over that with white. It kind of just spread a little too far. It's right up here, right in this section here. So it, it was fine once I did that. Everything else is really good. But yeah, like I said, I will add some glue the next time I do that. Maybe the clear kind. Um, so um, let me know what you think. I will have this um, on my Facebook page soon. Um, I do commission work. If you want to send me an email at the address on the screen, I'll be more than happy to talk to you about that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.